Um, so the, there are a number of things that really need to be balanced, um, other than just the content that that's that's being being migrated. We've really seen this as um, the new perimeter. So you, you know, especially with with COVID and the uh, uh, you know people needing to be able to function really efficiently and securely from working from home or remotely. Um, it's been it's been a critical requirement, really, that it doesn't matter if you're migrating, these things need to be in place. So there needs to be in place on both sides and, and the security elements have really taken on, I think, a, a lot more, uh, a lot more weight uh, in, 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 in these in these complex migrations. Uh, we also see that um, two organizations may be at different levels of maturity. Um, and, you know, the thing about Office 365 is uh, the platform will be upgraded and the security and governance elements will be put there whether you like it or not. You don't have any control over what Microsoft re will release, but you may have, for example, held back on certain features and functions. Uh, you may have held back on external sharing or Teams collaboration externally and, and the other organization might not have. So there's an important area here of, of uh, you know, of, of balancing out those requirements, making sure the maturity levels from the from the, the, the security and the governance side of things are balanced and in both interests. You know, sometimes the smaller organization, which is being swallowed up by a larger organization, may be more advanced, may be using more advanced features, but the bigger organization isn't ready for that yet. So a conversation really needs to be had um, around what's going to be the best for the uh, for the joint for, for the joint venture going forward. Um, so we've seen that it really it's uh, the, the, this is almost the, the the traditional rhythm of upgrading from Exchange to 2010 to 20 uh, to you know to the new versions of things is really gone. But what we do see is organisations are on a continual kind of gradual maturity uh, sort of maturation cycle of using these these governance and security features. Um, obviously, some of those. Uh, that Johan has already mentioned on the security side, but also on, on the content management side or on the information governance side, we have you know things like policies, uh, the the different types of you know data protection. So it could be labels. So you, you know one organisation may have done a lot of work around data classification and labelling and information protection and the, and the policies that that drive the protection of the information based on the labels that have been set up. So now if you're suddenly bringing a new organization into the fold, you re th there really needs to be both some change management and some decisions made on how it'll be deployed or if it'll be delayed or or what's acceptable um, to, to allow to allow this balance uh, to be created between between the organizations.